Like I said, Shaheen Shah, he's superhuman. The, the amount of coverage or, or distance he covers in a, in a match is just stupid. The fastest player, and you will love this and me saying this, is Shadab. And Baba, during uh, innings, the other night he scored 60, he got about 5, 6 Ks out of that. Fakhar did, what, 118, he got 9 Ks from, from that. So you're looking about a K every 10, 11 runs. Right, to start with the bat, what is workload? What is what do we understand as workload? Now, if you look at this and say, okay, workload is to understand the capacity of something or, or some player. If this is the capacity of this empty jar, sorry for my sophisticated equipment I've got over here, and I want to fill this into this capacity, it can handle quite a lot more. All right, so we measure how much capacity does a player have? Do we overfill him or underfill him? If this is his capacity and I'm trying to fill all this into him, he's going to be obviously overloaded. And then obviously we've got a problem. So we do a lot of measuring into determining what is the player's capacity with equipment. Uh, we've got the catapult as a GPS system that helps us understand what players do in a match. Let's say for a T20 game, we've got quite a bit of data on that and it's about eight kilometers per game. And of that eight players do seven and a half kilometers at 15 kilometers per hour plus. So 15 to 30 kilometers per hour. So it's quite a high velocity sprinting game. And in a one day game, we're looking at about 20 kilometers per match, of which of that 20 kilometers, 11 of that is done at a high velocity. Now we try to establish all those in terms of overs, bold, batting, fielding, what we need to do when. That's workload management. We use very sophisticated equipment called WhatsApp and Excel spreadsheets to do that management. So bowlers would send us every day their managed loads. We'll record all of them. Once a bowler is above a certain threshold, which we monitor every day, we'll try and lower his loads. And once his loads is too low, we're obviously trying to up those loads. But that takes a lot of planning into what is coming up for the rest of the year and we're trying to build him a load. So we're trying to sustain and manage those loads. If it is with conditioning, if it's with running, if it's with extra bowling, if it is extra fielding. And we, we determine that from careful monitoring every day. That's a daily process. The management of elite athlete is, is extremely important. Like I said, you need to know what is what you need to work on. You can't waste time because of the frequency of games. We play a lot of cricket and if you waste time sapping energy that you don't need to sap because of ticking boxes, you will impede on performances. So something's got to give at some point. That's, that's very easy. Like I said, Shane Shah is superhuman. The, the amount of coverage or, or distance he covers in a, in a match is just stupid. Um, so he, he covers around about, like I said, for T20, about seven kilometers at pace. Um, obviously, a lot of those is in his run up. His run up pace is about 29 kilometers per hour, which is rapid. The fastest player, and you will love this, and me saying this, is Shadab. Uh, I've clocked him at 36 kilometers per hour. So it's, it's, it's rather quick. Like I said, between the stumps, you're looking about 29, 30 kilometers per hour between the stumps, which guys tend to achieve. And Baba, during uh, uh, innings the other night he scored 60 he got about five six k's out of that Fakhar did what 118 he got nine k's from from that so you're looking about a k every 10 11 runs if you if you take school for an example right you either write exams every six months or every year or we check you every single week by writing a small little test what we believe to do is, is we try and write a small little test at the end of every week or the beginning of every week. Um, so we monitor players every day. And at the beginning of every tour, we would uh, look at the body compositions of all these players, um, weights, skin folds, um, and we not necessarily look at how high or how low it is. We look at how much it changes. The one thing we have to look at is whether the player is used to the level of international cricket. Um, so we, we definitely do tend to take a little bit more care of the new players that come into a situation uh, where, they, where they've not played international cricket before um, because the volume is more 
the intensity is a lot higher. The time you have to recover in between games or in between sessions is a lot less. Um, so the body goes through a, a little bit of a shock. Um, and for us, it's, it's to take all of those things into consideration. Now, the other thing you also got to take into consideration is what the guy does. A batter doesn't go through as much as a fast bowler would. Um, and then the guys that most probably are at most risk is the seeming all-rounders. And then the other thing you got to do is you got to talk to the players. Players would quickly tell you, this is a little bit sore, this is a little bit not, uh, you know, something, something is off. And um, you take all of those things, put it in a pot, boil it, and then you get, uh, get the result.